Yo, the lady at the store said, Hey, is that a double-headed donkey? It's, uh, really not what you think. I'm not thinking anything. Sick. Getting busted in your room doing whatever it is you like to do in your private time? Well, it's a common occurrence nowadays. But a while back, all it took was a simple no trespassing sign on your door to keep sneaky siblings or parents out of your room. But in today's society, things have gotten a bit more high tech and our family members craftier. In today's episode of Scientific Tuesdays, we're gonna create a simple circuit that's gonna upgrade your personal privacy for under five bucks. To start, I'm gonna use a basic Halloween decoration. You can use a toy, a noisemaker, anything you've got laying around. This decoration happens to have a button associated to it, which will turn on the lights when I push it. We're gonna pull those wires out so that we have them separate from the entire device. The reason for this is all that button was doing was connecting the wires together, but we can connect them ourselves using other means. Now I happen to have about 20 feet of speaker wire laying around, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie that into the candle itself. This in essence acts as an extension cord to activate the lights on the candles themselves. We're also gonna wrap some tape around it to make sure no loose wires stick out and to also hold it steady. Now that we have the speaker wire attached, we can hook the two wires together, or just touch them, and the lights will turn on. This is because we're completing this circuit. Now we need a basic clip. I happen to find a plastic one laying around, but if you have a clothespin, that'll work just as well. Now I'm going to wrap aluminum foil around the ends. This is to make it conductive. That way we can hook the wires up later and we can actually send a signal through when the two ends of the pin connect. Now we're gonna take the two ends of the speaker wire and tape them down to each end of the clip. This way, when the clip is closed, it's actually going to complete the circuit, as I said before, and turn the lights on. So when it's open, the lights are off. When it's closed, the lights are on. If we could place something very simple in there, when removed, turn the lights on, I would know exactly when someone was coming. Ah, doesn't get simpler than this, a little bit of white thread. We'll go ahead and pull out a lengthy amount and wrap it around itself so it's thick enough. Sorry, no hot glue here. Once we've got that done, we're gonna place it in between the clips. When the string is removed, the lights will actually turn on. Don't ever be on the wrong side of a surprise attack. We're gonna go ahead and place the candle somewhere near my desk that I can see it in plain sight. Now it's time to run our perimeter. We've all got secrets and things that we wanna hide. Well, take that wire, tuck it under the carpet. It's pretty simple, just grab a screwdriver and push it down on it. Once the wire's hidden and you have the clip to the place you wanna put it, go ahead and add some double-sided tape to it and place it along the wall. Once your clip is mounted, pull up the proper amount of string, place it in between the clip, and tape it to the other end of the wall. The next time a passerby goes through, it's gonna pull out the string and alert you to their presence. All right, let's apply it and check it out in action. Here we go. Beautiful stuff here. Yeah, what's up, bro? Hey, uh, just doing some work. What's up with the uh, blood-stained candle holder? I thought it was festive. Whatever, dude. So thanks to my trusty tripwire, I was able to negate a potential catastrophe. What makes this basic tripwire great is that you can count on it every time. Unlike laser tripwires, which are expensive, hard to set up, and somewhat unreliable. What you decide to do in your own room behind closed doors, that's your business. We're just making sure we're keeping it real and gonna keep it private. By the way, we love seeing your crazy ideas down in the comments. Sometimes we'll even do them. If you don't want to comment, send it to our Twitter, twitter.com slash householdhacker. And you know what, beyond that, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to hit that like button.